Robin, um, what, what is the project about? Um, this project is basically turning our school completely self-sufficient and eco-friendly by using solar panels and a hydrogen fuel cell. And, and uh, Maddie, how does the technology work? Uh, the hydrogen fuel cell works by uh, using electrolysis to convert the water into hydrogen and oxygen. Uh, it, would, it would take the energy from the solar panel, uh, it would then use the electrolysis and therefore powering our school. Patrick, tell us first of all what, what your project is all about. Um, our project is all about um, creating a 3D virtual environment for people who are thinking of travelling to an area and they don't know what it's like. So with ours we can basically get a model of the area they want to travel to and they can tour it in 3D with these special goggles that we have. And what, what kind of goggles are they? Um, they're called the Drovis Dive. They use a smartphone as a screen for them and they use two lenses inside it and they basically merge the image together and gives you a stereoscopic 3D view off just a normal smartphone. So this is basically what we get the models out of, it's called SketchUp 3D. And so we take it from here and we design the models and we use something called Google Maps and that allows us to create an accurate um, size of the, the area that we're trying to recreate. So basically anywhere in the world you can use it for. So Rachel, um, what, what is the project? What were you trying to achieve here? Um, well, Camlin Technologies in Lisbon are a company that required a tester to test their products before they sent out because they, their products were arriving um, in bad condition. So we came up with this to test the products before they left so they could fix any problems before they were sent out. So this simulates the conditions of a transport lorry. Can you tell me a bit about how the pro technology works behind it? Yes, well, we programmed a Zelo PLC and the program is up in the back and basically it goes through different frequencies. We just took the frequencies from the back of a lorry using a monitoring a vibration monitoring app on our smartphones and we just plugged it into our laptop, it came up on Excel and we made graphs and that was really it. We just copied the frequencies just to get them accurate enough. Okay guys, uh, what is the Slater Tracker? Um, well we decided to develop a tracker, we put a tracker into the middle of a Slater and then you can use them um, through your phone, iPhone, you can use um, an app on your phone to find it then. And what kind of things does it measure? It measures the distance, so if you're like, if it gets lost in a ditch, you can find it, and it measures up to 10 meters away. We plan to get it manufactured inside the city, because obviously we've been sewing it up, so it's not going to last you too long, so we hope to get it manufactured so that maybe clubs and parlors can use it in the future. What is SciVision? Shadira, we'll ask you first. Uh, SciVision is a science revision site for junior search students. It has like notes and experiments, basically everything they need for studying for the junior search. And is this a way of keeping yourself organised or keeping in track with your uh, progress? Oh, definitely. Like, there's, there's, like, we do every chapter, so every chapter is outlined in, the, in our sections. And so you can easily keep track. Like, if, you do, if you do a chapter or not, you can just keep track and just go down the list to see what you've learned. Oh, so like we have it on the web, on, up on Google already, so people can like people can like go to it and see it and use it and avail of it. And uh, we plan to do an app and other like other products like that. Okay, uh, Aiden, what is it you're wearing? It's a uh, goggles that protect your eyes um, in the workshop. Simply, if you take off your goggles and forget to keep them on, it makes a buzzer, so you remember to keep them back on again. So it's designed by a 3D printer and, and this, this obviously hope to prevent people from getting injured in the workplace uh, by not forgetting to take off their goggles. Yeah, but we looked at, to see what was the main problem in the workshop and we saw that 2,000 US workers a year sustain eye injuries of some sort by not wearing their goggles. So we thought we could come up with this here and just easily, if you just flick a switch then it would prevent... Um, it will prevent less eye injuries every year. Um, my project is about um, investigating if there's a correlation between hand size and the instrument you play. So I used a survey to see um, to investigate about hand dimensions on hand length, hand width, hand span and the length of your middle finger and I conducted it amongst 4th, 5th and 6th years in my school. Um, I discovered that 73% of ch children who play an instrument have parents who also play an instrument but only 50% um, of children who play an instrument uh, have a parent who, don't, who doesn't play an instrument. Then uh, there's no major correlation between hand length and the instrument you play which was surprising because I thought there would be some between maybe hands 
span that piano players or guitar players would have a larger hand span, but there wasn't. So guys, um, what on earth are we looking at here? Um, a plug safe. It helps us keep our houses safe from house fires by warning us when the plug is going to overheat and when you've left the socket on. Once you turn off the light, it's literally a buzzing sound to warn you once you've left the socket on.